Hello everyone and welcome to Pwned Own Tokyo for 2020, coming to you this year live from Toronto. My name is Dustin Childs, I'm the Communications Manager here in the Zero Day Initiative. We have a total of 19 uh, total entries for this year and uh, it's going to be a really great show. Our team in the Toronto office will run all of the attempts with the contestants connecting remotely. Pwned Own Tokyo focuses on consumer-oriented devices and this year is no different. We have 19 entries from 12 teams in the categories of Wi-Fi routers, smart TVs, and the newest category, network attached storage. As always, the contest started with a drawing to determine the order of attempts. Let's see who's going to uh, start our day. It is going to be Star Labs team targeting the Netgear Nighthawk on the land side. They wasted no time and were able to use a pair of bugs to get their code execution going. Oh, all right. Can we take a look at the screen? Yeah, there we go. UID zero equals root. So that is a successful demonstration. They earned $5,000 and one point towards Master of Home. Next up, the team from Trappist Security targeted the Western Digital MyCloud Pro Series PR4100. It's pretty fast, I guess. Yeah. Good job. This was the first time a NAS server has been targeted at a Pwn to Own event. The team didn't disappoint as they used an authorization bypass and a command injection bug to take over the server. This demonstration earned them $20,000 and two points towards Master of Pwn. So what drew you to the contest and what kind of made you say, let's try this Pwn to Own thing? Uh, you know, Pwn to Own is a, a, really, a really big contest for hackers. And it was really nice to have a chance to participate in Pontoon. And this year we try to start from a simple target like the NAS or the router. It's much easier. Yeah. So we want to try uh, how is how will we be in the Pontoon and just choose some easy targets. So what do you think so far? Do you think maybe you'll try to do some Pontoon uh, stuff in the future? Uh, maybe. Maybe next year we'll try like some browsers. But who knows? Pwned Own veterans team flashback for our next competitors. They were targeting the WAN interface of the Netgear Nighthawk R7800 router. Uh, I see something here. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you see? I see you do it, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Flashback did it again. <laughs> Not only did they use a two-bug chain to compromise the router, they were able to leave a backdoor in the router that would persist even after a factory reset. This demonstration earned them $20,000 and two points towards Master of Home. But how long did it take you to develop the exploit that you used today uh, to win? Well, I think it took us around two to three days to find and maybe a couple of days more to really package it in a, you know, a very reliable exploit. Um, so I, I know we cannot reveal any details, unfortunately, but the exploit is quite cool. So uh, one of the things right. is that it installs a permanent backdoor and it survives a factory reset. You can factory reset your router all you want, but our backdoor is not going anywhere. So let me be very clear on that, because that, that's cool. So it survives a factory reset, not just a power cycle? Factory reset, you got a factory reset. You, you can try to factory reset the router, but you're not going to delete our exploit. Basically, the only way to delete our exploit is the Ooh. way we know, and we can replace it with another <laughs> exploit. Next up, Pondo newcomer 84C0 successfully demonstrated code execution against the Western Digital NAS. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Well, uh, <laughs> New idea of root. Great. Yeah. Done. Unfortunately, the bug he used had been previously reported. This still counts as a partial win, but he did not receive any points towards Master of Pwn. The team from Black Coffee was next on the schedule. Unfortunately, they couldn't get their exploit to work within the allotted time frame. That failed. Uh, that failed. The team in Toronto coordinated with the contestants as best as they could, including swapping hardware in the middle of the attempt. I'm sure we'll see some great research from them in the future. The first television targeted in this year's contest was the Samsung Q60T. The Vitel cybersecurity team was able to get a reverse shell on a fully patched device. Okay. Oh, that was great. Ah, that was super fast. Good job. However, the bug they used had been previously known. This still counts as a partial win and nets them one point towards Master of Pope. The final demonstration for day one saw the Trappist security team return. 
this time targeting the LAN interface of the Netgear Nighthawk router. Yes. Cool. Right. Good job. Excellent job. Okay. All right, so that's a success. Success. successful demonstration. Oh, look device? at that. Their command injection bug was successful, and their exploit earned them another $5,000 and one more point towards Master of Pwn. That wraps up the first day of Pwn to Own Tokyo, live from Toronto for 2020. We awarded $50,000 today for seven unique bugs across four products. With their two successful attempts, the Trappist security team is currently in the lead for Master of Pwn, which is the overall winner of Pwn to Own. However, Team Flashback is right on their heels. A lot of different exploits go on today. So Brian, welcome. And uh, what were your initial thoughts of day one? Yeah, so I thought uh, today well, today was a great day. Um, you know, the first time we've gone through the whole streaming process with this, uh, and to get really every flavor of own to own to come to this come through the stream, we had four successful entries, uh, we had uh, two partial entries, and we had actually one failure. And uh, so people who were watching the stream most of the day were actually able to see kind of all the different kind of things that happen within Pwn to Own, you know, whether the contestant is, is going to, you know, uh, is going to win real quickly with a, with a zero day or whether they were going to win real quickly and possibly have a duplicate during the disclosure process that would disqualify them from being a full win. Um, sometimes, you know, they would leverage a previously known vulnerability uh, that uh, would, would result in a partial win. Um, and to actually have a failure on day one, uh, though it's sad for uh, the bl uh, Black Cop coffee team uh, to have a failure you know it's for the for the people on the stream who are watching the event it's you know who have, may not have experienced Pondo in this before I mean you can kind of feel the tension you can understand that maybe the disappointment of the contestant who is uh, participating in the contest uh, and also you know understand that maybe the bug was patched out or you know something happened that, that put them at a disadvantage so you know kind of fun to see across the board uh, you know and, and hopefully Black Coffee will come back in a, in a future event uh, like they did uh, they're, one of their members is actually part of the winning team at uh, Pondo in Miami this year, so I'm sure they'll be back in the future. Uh, what, what are we looking forward to over the next couple of days? The WAN exploits to me are always kind of the sexiest router exploits that are out there. Um, and you know, and you know uh, Team Flashback, just from their history at Pwn to Own and, and how dynamic that team is, you know it's going to be an amazing exploit. Um, you know, I'm also looking forward to, you know, the, the, the Sony television hack um, as well. Uh, and the, you know, the Synology device, you know, I think, you know, these are new entries into the Pwn to Own contest. We are, uh, you know, we're looking forward to see what, what comes from those. Um, and, you know, I think the vendor will be on, on site for us to disclose to them. So I think it's, you know, we're, we're excited to have this new category. You know, it's, it seems to be going quite well for us this year and we'll see how, how it wraps up for the whole contest. Join us tomorrow as we begin at 10 a.m. Eastern and follow us on our stream at Twitch and on YouTube. And of course, always look us up on Twitter. We'll see you then.